Hey everybody, my name is Fravis, and I got so, so many new things just happened today. Like, wonderful things, and I'm very happy. We got a brand new deck. Um, I was, I was scouring the subreddit for, I mean, alright. So I was making, but let's just try to get into it. Um, guy on the subreddit called, um, Groat Hardstroke made a little deck. Um, I think it can be improved, personally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right off the bat and say that, but, uh, not necessarily. And... I, I'm gonna run it exactly as he has it. At the end of the video, I'll show uh, I'll show his exact build. But um, you, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do it right now. I'll just show you guys. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Just real quick. I'm not gonna go through it. This is it. This is build. You can pause the video at any time. I, I believe in your YouTube uh, powers. Uh, this is the mana curve. Oh, that's the mana distribution. This is the mana curve. And it looks, I mean, it's its a simple Selesnia sort of renowned beatdown deck. Uh, not sure about some cards. Some cards I think uh, wouldn't mind. I, I, I personally wouldn't mind um, cutting in favor of, of other things that might, uh, that might be a little more useful. But um, right now we're going to go exactly as, as he's presented it. He, put it. he posted it on the subreddit. And I asked him for permission to uh, play the deck. And he said yes. And... That's what we're doing today. And also, new news, new microphone. So hopefully from now on my videos won't sound like a complete uh, anus. Although that that's not entirely true because really it's about content and my content is complete shit because I'm a terrible magic player. But um, I, I wanna do new things. This, th this looks fine. Like I'm totally fine with it. Actually, I really would prefer a double white, but I'm okay with this. Guild Gates, I, I, I think, should come out. I, I really don't like Guild Gates. A lot of people run them. I, I don't like them. But uh, that's a personal preference of mine. So uh, what I, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Like, I want to do a few episodes of just this deck uh, exactly as it was pre presented to me. And then after that, like, preliminary period of, you know, getting a feel for it, feeling what the spirit of the deck is, really getting a, a good sense of hopefully all the cards, then I want to go in and make my own tweaks. If I actually even want to. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll end up uh, loving uh, Patron of the Valiant and uh, wanting it. And actually, Patron probably should stay in here because Patron is a pretty damn good card. Uh, definitely not dropping Nissa right now because that would be a little premature. He's obviously going Rakdos, uh, some kind of rush, so I'm going to want more power in the field. Thankfully, a three in the ass is a little bit more difficult for him to have. I mean, like if he has a Twin Bolt or something, but... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'd be expecting. He could have that, um, I forgot the name of it, the black card. One black, sacrifice a creature, kill another creature. He didn't even swing. So he's actually not, like, that much into a rush deck. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I don't think I want to drop this right now. Actually, I do, because he can double block with the arsonist and kill my creature. So that arsonist has to go down. It doesn't have to go down. Actually, I'd rather it didn't. So let's just tap something else. And let's see what else he has. If he had a red mana open, I would tap down the the, the arsonist, but uh, as it stands, I, I, I'm not too, too worried about it. He definitely has to take care of this. This is so... F I mean, there's a lot fewer cards in his, uh, in his deck right now that can take care of a 3-4. Bone Splinters is the one I was thinking of. That'll that'll do it. Probably with the Arsonist, so he can hit me one in the face. Nah, he should do it with a token. Yeah, good. I'm glad he did. That was definitely the right move. Okay. Um, thankfully, his board is really wiped out. And, I mean, he did... Technically, it was two for two. Because he used... Um, I guess he didn't use a whole Dragon Fodder. But he did use a Dragon Fodder to stop it. He could have let the damage and let it go renowned, and then he'll have another 1-1 one, one out. That probably is something that he should have done. Okay, with four mana, what do I want to be like? I mean, I really only have one... Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I definitely want this out right now. And I'll draw my force too, and pass turn. Um, I'm probably not going to do Nissa next turn, either. I'm probably going to go with uh, Timberland Guide. I think I'm going to hold on to Nissa until I'm a little further down the road. Closer to six. Is it six mana or seven that she flips? Hang on, I'll, I'll do this first. Uh, no need to do this pre-com. I'm definitely going in. He, uh, I will bet that he's blocking this down because he just does not want that renowned. And I don't blame him. Again, I'm a little light on those whites. I only have one white. 
And I've got a couple, I mean, white in this format, I'm surprised you didn't block that. Hmm. White in this format is um, really a, a nasty damn color because a lot of the early, I mean, in fact, all of the cards, well, not all of them, but a lot of them want multiple white sources. So, oh, he's just gone. All right, he didn't really have a good answer. I'm sure he he did he does look a little mana fucked, but he also looks like he's running a rush deck. Oh, actually, maybe he's not. Huh, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, make sure this guy's. Wow, sorry about that. Don't know if you hear that. My neighbor is uh, having a bad day right now. Tappa dap is. Why didn't I? Why didn't I put on the Timber Watch guy? Timberland guy. That was. Uh... That was a bad play of mine. I'm, I'm so used to doing everything pre-combat. That just, it just doesn't feel right to do it post-combat. Pre-combat? No. Wait, well, boy. I am I am really showing my true colors here. I am a terrible player, and I suck at explaining things. I drop creatures second main phase. That's what I'm trying to say. I know I'm, I'm failing horribly on that on that front but whatever let's see what we can do here um I, well I can just like tap down a ton of his shit and I think I will I don't want to be putting I, I want to go in with everything so I'm going to make sure that this one is actually relevant um no I'm not fuck that one one I am going to swing with him I don't care anymore if he wants to trade go right ahead uh, definitely locking down that uh, that arsonist so he has to block it with one of his tokens. And he's not. Okay, that's fine. He has taken at least one, but he's losing a bunch of tokens. Nissa, um, I didn't hit my land drop. Let's see, what do I want to do next turn? Mm, I can do... I can do them both next turn. So there's no need to put her out now. And it's not like I'm really going to care about her extra two damage. Although I am already behind one damage from a misplay, so maybe I should be swinging in with this just to try to catch up. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't care about that. You go ahead and hit me, man. You go ahead and hit me, bro. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. I, I assume that this guy uh, was mana fucked. I'm not entirely sure, but generally these guys are running rush decks and. It's already tapped, but whatever. And that's uh, this does feel like Dragon Fodder and Bone Splitters really makes me feel like that was a rush deck. But then he had a couple others in there that were, that were kind of fatty, so maybe he wasn't. Maybe maybe he was just a regular Rakdos deck that uh, that didn't uh, quite get what he was going for and just got uh, mana fucked. We'll never know. Well, actually, we can if if I play him again. But he's probably already in another game by now, so. I'm not going to get to replay him for a while. But we'll see. Uh, I'm really happy about this mic. I, I, I got it. Um, it's actually pretty close to me. I'm not sure if I want it like right in front of my face or if I want to put it uh, down to the table. I don't know where it is. So right now it's, uh, it, like I said, it's right up in my, in my, in my poop chute. That, that's my mouth because I talk shit all the time. Wow. Here I am complaining about white sources. Um, I can't keep that. That's, that's Jesus. Man, these white sources. Come on, guys. I mean, I'll keep this. Because I got a lot of plays. It's a damn guild gate, so I might as well put that down. Uh, I had that... What, what was it? Sun Fury Elf? Sun, Sun Elf? I don't know. The Elf... The, the one green drop elf that gets plus one, plus one if you control a planes. Um, guess what? That's not a planes. You, you need planes. Uh, that's why I think uh, Evolving Wilds might be a little better. Uh, than uh, guild gates, but it's not necessarily the case. Hmm. So for a long time, I was actually worried. Uh, well, I wasn't worried, but I was I was working on a Celesnia deck, and I think I had one that's pretty good. But like I said before in previous videos, I was going to go back and uh, look on the subreddit to see if anybody's posting. Uh, decks that I'm interested in, in making or playing and I came across several users that uh, I, I want to uh, use their decks and this is obviously one of them 
and I, I just kind of deleted my Selesnya and then just made remade this one because I, I don't know. I'd rather use other people's decks, and I don't know why that is actually. It just it feels more fun for me. I I want to see what the community is trying to build and what what they're trying to put together, and if I just put my own shit together, I mean. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get past any biases that I have in card creation because personally I think Perilous Mirror should be in every damn deck you ever make and a lot of people would disagree with me on that and rightly so, frankly. Um, this is an obvious fight today. I mean, I have to lock that guy down because he's going to kill my 2-2. Uh, now he can't kill shit. Everybody's playing red. Everybody's playing red. That's another one that I, I wanted to... Another criteria of uh, the cards, or of the decks that I wanted to uh, change up. I don't want to play uh, red anymore. I think red is uh, super, super, super prevalent in the meta right now. And, I mean, even though it's one of my favorite colors, uh, I, it, and it is, believe me. <laughs> I fucking love red. But I, I don't want to play it because it's in the meta. Like, I'm the kind of guy who... If there's a winning team, I'll join the losing team because I want to keep moving up. I want to keep fighting. I don't want to like face roll. I hate face rolling. I hate being face rolled and I hate face rolling. I like the weird challenges, the the games where somebody's winning and then there's a massive turnaround and suddenly the loser's the winner. Those are the best, man. Those, those big old turnarounds. Oh, God. Those get me so happy, man. I love those things. I hope, and, and you know, I think a lot of people agree with me on that. I'm not sure. I think they do. I think generally you want to see the underdog come up on the top, but but then why why does why do people play like decks that are just constantly winning? I mean, I don't think it's just because of the meta or just because they're they're just trying to grind out gold. I think it's because they they just want to win, which is a shame. Honestly, I don't think you want to win. You shouldn't want to win. I mean, that's not true exactly, is it? He's indecisive. I would not attack, dude. I would uh, I would hold back. You gotta you gotta get board control back. I'm giving him a hard time here. I mean he knows I can tap it down. Oh, that's his problem. Because if I tap it down anyway, yeah. Yeah, alright. Go ahead, man. He knows what's up. I, you know he was right. He he should attack here. He's right. I'm wrong. Don't listen to me. Listen to him. He knows what's going on. Oh. Mm. Okay. No need to drop that pre-combat, right? I mean, I don't know. No, no, he's not attacking. So, might as well go in now. Swinging my dinghies. Tap that motherfucker down. Hit him for four. God, this aura is so damn powerful. Grasp of the Hyromancer. Shit, man. What a powerful card. But, I mean, I, I imagine... I mean, he's playing Bora, so... I think he has a strategy of... Or his strategy should be just dumping all his cards down, and maybe I just had a better hand than he did. Maybe? I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know. Now that I have this guy down, he's in a lot of trouble. He might not want to swing in now. Mm. Other attacking creatures. So this guy will stay as a 2-1. So, heal block. Alright, no. So when I'm swinging in, I have to tap down the Arsonist no matter what. Because if he blocks, he'll block my 3-3, three, three, and then he'll hit my 2-1 to kill it. And then only one will get through. No, not even the one will get through. Actually, he can probably just block that with the 2-2. Uh, the two, two. Although, I could just hold this guy back. And then pump this guy up to a 3-2. But it won't make any difference, because no matter what, I'm... I'm Tapping the Goblin Arsonist when I swing. I mean, that's for sure. And he can't even swing with it. He has to just let it be tapped. Otherwise, he'll have no blockers. Um, so even if I turn this guy into... Well, it has first strike. But it won't matter because he's probably getting blocked by this Kithkin here. Hmm. So do I want to hold this guy back or not? That's a real question here, man. Maybe he won't block this. Maybe he'll block the 3-3. Three, three. And if I swing with this, then it'll be a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, here's your... Here it is. This is actually... This changes things up, man. Okay, this is what I'm doing. Oh, wow. There you go, dude. Flooding the board. I, I mean, I knew he would. He was going to do this, I just didn't know why he wasn't. So he was hanging on to some things. Okay, 
Good, good calls, dude. Hmm. Okay. I think no matter what... If the double strike wants to hit... I'm okay with trading. If the double strike wants to, to trade with my 2-1, that'll be fine. This guy will be a 4-4. He can trade with that instead if he'd rather. Uh, let's see what he does. Uh, I, I really think that this guy has to be tapped because he can take out a couple of my creatures and blocks, or one of my creatures and block. Okay, let's see how he how he blocks here, and then I'll give whoever I want plus one plus one. That's not trading. That is. Oh, okay, that's fine actually. Um, in that case, I'll just give this guy three because there's nothing I can do here. So I might as well reach for next turn. Okay. Nice moves. I like it. Becomes Renown draw a card. Well, nobody's become renowned. In fact, I have no Renowns. So I'd be better off dropping him now. And then uh, the Va Val Vale Run Wardens next turn. Pre-combat. Remember, pre-combat Fravis. Don't forget that. You're gonna forget. I know I'm gonna forget. Somebody write me a note, please. Write me a note. Send it to my uh, my address. He's in a he's in a tight spot. I mean, he has more cards than me in hand, but I have um, a much sexier looking board. I'll, although he does have a, a double striker, so if he if he has a couple enchantments to pump that guy up, he could do some significant damage to me. I don't think this guy's first strike. It's just vigilance, yeah. Not sure what he wants to do. He's got some thinking to do. I'm glad I'm at least getting this guy to think. Uh, can I pronounce your name? Archetipo. Archetipo. Arch. Archetipo. Archetipo X. I don't know. Six ranks below me. That sounds below me. I'm sorry, buddy. I like that avatar. That's a cool avatar. I don't think it's like white though. Inferno fist on the double striker, of course. And I bet he was thinking if he wanted to blow it or not. Probably not. You want to hit me for 8. And then you might as well hit it again for 9. You might as well swing with both of them. It gets Oh, no, it doesn't get tapped down anymore. Oh, you're right, dude. Uh, yep, you go ahead. And I can't even block with a double... Well, I could. If I leave the double striker back, he's going to blow the Inferno Fist to kill it. But then he'll be hitting me for... Uh, four less damage. So maybe it is worth it. Is this attacker or blocker? Attacking creature, damn. Oh, he did it anyway. That's interesting. I would have done that later. I would have put the... I mean, he had the mana open for it, so there wasn't really much point, in my opinion. Um, ba -dum -dum -dum. Okay, I mean, he's getting... I'm losing this guy. That sucks. I'm definitely losing him. Because you want to block this so I don't get renowned. And so you lose your arsonist, so... Yeah. No, I mean, it's you obviously block here. And there's really no point. I'm not going to waste time tapping this guy to give him plus one, plus one. That's just totally pointless. Yeah. You lose. Actually, maybe I should have, just in case he had, like, a... Uh... A twin bolt or something. Why did I play that out? Oh my god, that was... Oh, great. Now I... No. That was a terrible idea. Jesus. Misplays for days. You, you Never empty your hand, guys. Don't do not do what I do. Because I, I do does it bad time. Dumb. Big dumb Billy Bottoms. Okay. This is... I mean, it's a good deck. I, I don't hate it. It's not, like, straight into the meta. It's not, like, Boros Auras. I mean, he has Auras in it, but it's, I don't think it's dedicated to Boros Auras, because you wouldn't usually put an Aura on a Goblin Arsonist. Usually. Whoops. Yes, thank you. I, I know. I saw. And these Kithkins, I, I think they kind of suck. Boy, that Double Striker's doing some work for this guy, isn't he? And I, I mean... 
just want to block this then. We're down two. Not a whole lot I can do about it. I don't really want to take eight. Boros Auras, baby. But it's not really Auras. Maybe it is. Maybe he did put Auras, but he just put silly creatures in here. Because generally, if you want... You know what? Maybe it is Auras, because he's got uh, Heliod's Pilgrim. Uh, that kind of sucks. But I can give it Indestructible whenever I want. So that's kind of a good blocker, then. Now, what he has to do... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Shit, he already figured it out. God damn it. He has to pop his Inferno Fist and try to kill um, Gideon now. Oh, is that what he's gonna do? He's gonna pop the Inferno Fist to kill my Vigilant guy? He's gonna do one damage here and then two damage here? I'm actually okay with that. Because if he shoots it at Gideon, then I have to use... Because I don't have enough to, to pump this twice. To give it um, indestructible twice. So if he makes me use it on my turn, then I won't have it for his turn. And then he can swing in. And if I want to block, I'll lose, uh, I'll lose Gideon anyway. Uh, it's, I guess it's not Gideon. Whatever. Inferno Fist on this guy, right? Not Gideon. I gotta make sure. That, nope. Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Because I have a really good blocker right now. Although he is ahead of me because he's got a card and I don't. But I have a really good blocker. Unless he does run Nimbus Wings. Which, if he had Nimbus Wings, he would have played it earlier, right? Traitor's Instinct, son of a bitch. Um... Well, he doesn't have any other cards, so there's not really anything I can do. Damn. Well, I'm at two. Did not put him on that. That's a really weird card to run in a... In a... Well, I mean, I guess it's not weird, but you don't have any way... I mean, it. it's good because it gets rid of a blocker, which is exactly what happened here. But you don't have any... I mean, the the opponent gets back. That's the, That's the issue. Um, I guess I can swing, actually. Which is kind of weird. I don't think I'd be able to, but I definitely can swing. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that's just too aggressive. But I want to do some damage to this guy. I want to get him down. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I'll lose this guy if he swings. But um, he's three in the ass, so he'll lose himself, too. And that's a totally... He, he, the, honestly, this guy did a lot of work for him. Mm, that kind of sucks. That sucks a lot, actually. That's exactly what I was worried about. And now I have to block. I have no choice. Super sucks. And this guy's just draw, drawing the perfect cards, honestly. Yeah. And the creatures that he's got aren't really that good for this kind of deck, in my opinion. Yeah, I wish. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I mean, I don't want to risk it anymore, honestly. I think I'm just going to keep this guy down. I gotta put my wall up. I mean, he's just gonna... God, actually, a Nimbus Wings will just kill me. An Inferno Fist, I think, will just kill me. But he only has two left. That could kill me. No point in swinging here. Don't know why he's wasting his time. That's kind of silly. I mean, now he just has a tapped creature. There's really no need to have done that, but whatever, fine. That's what you want to do. That's what you get. Hmm. Vigilance is nice. Hmm. See, if I swing in, he'll block with this and either hit me in the face or take out my second blocker. I just can't swing in yet. I really just can't. 
next turn... Next turn I think I can. Because I can flip this guy. And... I can make anyone indestructible. That won't be that great. But I think I can turn him into a creature, right? How much does that cost? Zero. So yeah, I can turn him into a 3-3, three, three, I guess. Or was it a 4-4? Four, four? Uh, I've never actually flipped this guy before. A 4-4. Four, four. Okay. That wouldn't be too bad. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Here I am thinking, like, that's weird. How come his, uh, his fucking double striker still tapped on his turn? That's really fucked up. Did he get hit with something? I was like, no, no, no. This is all me. This is all me done goofing. Um, he could swing it all in. I, I, I'll lose a creature because of the arsonist. I mean, I'll, I'll only lose one creature, really. But it's up to him. Um, if he wants me to have one less creature, that's, yeah, that's probably the right move. Hmm... this guy anyway. It's going to him anyway. Actually, no, that would be dumb. I want. I don't want it to take any damage, so that's how we're doing it. If he wants to hit me in the face, that's fine. But if he wants to try to kill a creature, that's fine too. Why did I swing with that one? I should have done it with the two one. That was a misplay for sure. Hey! That's good. That's real good. I won't have indestructible, though. There's no point in swinging, right? Nope. No point at all. He'll just block. Okay. Fine. I hate playing out my hand, but this is definitely the way to go. Gotta put that bitch down. Now, if he wants to swing, it'll cost him two, but it, just, it sure doesn't matter. That's a joke cost. He can get in here as, as much as he wants. Yeah. I don't know why you're doing that. I mean, you know... Oh. His double strike. Yeah. Well, I mean... For a second, I just lose all this thought in my head. Okay, I'm really hoping I don't draw land. I've been really lucky that I have been getting lands for a while. Let's hope I don't. Oh, wow. I am lucky. Good, good. Real nice, man. Real nice. Okay. I mean, the ability to for him to have to pay to attack, it, it, it's a joke ability. But I will start swinging in for three because at least now I can put him on a relevant clock. And this costs three, right? Yeah, so I won't be able to pay for both His, um, Gideon's indestructibility and this guy to regenerate. But maybe it won't matter. Let's hope it doesn't. Obviously, I'm going to do Gideon's re re uh, indestructibility over the regeneration. That's a dangerous card to be pulling, but. I'm glad he has uh, some plays. If he wants to swing in all out here, he could. Because then that would for sure make me lose a creature. That's real good to have, too. Okay, I'm swinging in again. Super close game, man. I know I made at least one or two misplays. There's a few um, enchantments that if he pulls them, I could be in a lot of trouble. He might as well swing all in here, because then I'll lose. Uh, I'll be losing some creatures. Actually, I could just. I'll lose only one creature. Never mind. That's not that good of a move. Well, I mean, if you're going part part of the way, you might as well go all the way. Yeah. Um. Lose one creature though, man. That sucks. 
He's getting anxious. Okay, I think he just lost. Sucks, man. Alright. Good game from, um, I, I still can't pronounce her name. Archetypo. Um, he put up a good fight. Not good enough, though. I will even him out. Oh, he's he's leaving so he can preserve his uh, his rank. What you do is you pause the game and then you minimize it, and then you close it from Windows, and then you don't lose your uh, you don't lose your rank. It's it it it's a stupid bug and people shouldn't do it, but whatever. <laughs> Hopefully they'll fix it at some point so that if you leave for any reason you lose rank, which I definitely think is what should what the implication be. All right. Well, that was. Um, uh, thanks a lot um, for the deck. Um, what was it? Heartstroke. Broke heartstroke. Oh, hey. Shit. I got the forty again. Nice. All right. Um, thanks a lot for everything, guys. Um, if you know a a deck or one uh, to uh, give me to change anything, please let me know. Uh, I will see you guys next time.